Hey, Jason, check yeah. this out. Cool. Free app when you buy the console. <laughs> yes. Free app even if you don't buy the console. That's true, yeah. Um, this is the Allen & Heath Q32, the latest in the uh, Q range from Allen & Heath. Yes. Um, started off uh, with the Q16, then the Q24. Uh, the 32 uh, gives you 40 mixed channels to the same uh, 12 uh, AUX buses that the 16 and the 24 have. Mm -hmm. Adds uh, four stereo groups and uh, two stereo matrix as well. Uh, plus, obviously, more faders, bigger surface area, different form factor. And I like that you've got dedicated outputs on the back. Yeah. E even for the subgroups as well. Mm, mm. But that's not all. Yeah, um, D-Snake connection to Allen Heath's uh, family of uh, remote stage boxes. And you know, lots of really cool features like uh, the USB port here. Uh, you can record 18 tracks at 48K 24-bit directly to a hard drive, or there's another USB port on the back. Go to a DAW, you've got 32 tracks. Um, straight in, uh, or straight out, and straight in. It's getting so easy, isn't it? It is, and, and very affordable. Lots of hardware control. Sounds uh, just like the little one. Yeah. Um, they look. They're doing really, really well. These are popping up on lots of sort of small to mid-level touring, popping up in lots of venues, uh, and going into lots of installations. Mm. And people are finding them really user-friendly. I mean, it's I basically think, the I same think, interface as yeah, the smaller well, one, which we like. Well, it's exactly the same interface. I think the the really appealing thing is that it's very easy to figure it out. Mm. Um, you know, you don't have to to sort of stop and, and learn how to do stuff to operate it, you can kind of just walk up and push faders and if you want to send something to an effect, you know, mm. you push effects and send some channels and then mm. you can turn it off or you can send to an effect, then you can go back to sending yep. the left, right. There's a couple of ways to do things, but it's all pretty logical. Look, yeah, one of my uh, sort of yardsticks for a, for a easily operable digital desk is the parametric EQ section on, mm -hmm. on any given channel. And you've got, you know, gain, uh, Q, and frequency, yep. and a dedicated control for each one. Yeah, uh, it's just simple stuff like and that. And this is nice because because it's only twelve encoders, but it's twelve encoders that don't make it onto every console out yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, and it's it seems so simple, uh, but it, yeah, it really does affect the functionality of the desk. Yeah, and yeah, I, I think um, just for, you know people who want more faders as opposed to the twenty-four or sixteen, this is probably going to yeah. be just as successful. I mean, we, we should clarify the forty mix channels. All of those thirty-two of them are yep. things you can actually input. Uh, you know, a mic Pre -preamps, to, yeah, yeah mm. with preamps and phantom power and mm. so forth. But look, for um, for what it is and what it does, I think it's a pretty solid little performer. Yep, another good one from Alan and Heath.